hi guys welcome to the one more amazing course so today in this course we will learn that how we can write test in the laravel to make sure our application is working properly right so first understand that what is testing and why we need that testing right so basically testing is that we are we want to test our application is it returning the expected results so let's say you have built a application and you want to now send it to your client and you want to make sure that his application is returning the expected results right so this is called the testing so now there are two ways to test the application first way is manual way you can test your application by opening in the web browser and step by step you can check all of the features this is one way and second one is automatic way right if you did ddd test driven development you can test it in the automatic way right so now let's say you have a small application so you can test it manually but when you have a large application like 1000 modules in the application so how you can test this manually right so let's say you have added one more feature into the 1000 features application so you need to test your all of the features manually again so maybe it's dependent on the other features so you want to make sure that it's not breaking the existing functionality so you will check 1001 manually features but if you write test you don't need to manually test this out you will run the tests and you will see this uh, and it will show you in a few minutes that your application is working properly or it's breaking something so that's why testing comes and our solver issue so now i'm on the laravel documentation so here you can see this i have opened the testing section so it's saying that laravel have two ways to test application best which is added in the latest version of laravel and there is php unit which is in the existing laravel and newer version too so i'm going to use this php unit to test our application right so it's saying that you need to first to set up its environment right we will set up its environment and then we will write the test right we have two types of test feature test and unit tests so first understand that what is feature testing and what is unit testing so if you want to test the single uh, single module so then it's called a unit test you can you will implement that unit test because you want to test only a small piece of code right a small unit and if you want to test the multiple module in the same uh, in the same test you will then follow the feature test because feature test is responsible for handling the complex or multi-level uh, tests right so you can perform the let's say you are sending api request and then getting its response and then um, performing different operations on it so you will definitely write the feature test that is the main difference now first to set up this out okay this one is our i have installed the fresh installation of laravel 11 which is latest version and it's a laravel testing app i have configured its database connection and i have created its database here right and migrated my database right this one laravel testing app and it's running it here okay so now if i want to run my test if i go here go to my terminal and here by default in the laravel there are two types of test exist feature test and then a unit test and this one is a test case which is a master class or you can see this it's a parent class of unit and feature test so here now if you want to run your test you need to run a command which is php artisan test so it will uh, run your all of the test within the test directory okay it's saying two tests passed what are the two tests this one is a example test and then this one is also example test which is application is return a successful response and true is true right this one true is true and this one is returning the successful response okay so now i'm going to delete those tests right because i want to create my own test right 
so that's why i'm going to delete those tests and if i run those tests again so now it will show that there is no test okay no test found and there is one more way to test your application uh, similarly you can run command vendor vendor slash bin slash php unit enter and you can see this there is it's saying no test executed because there is no test given so by using these two method you can test your application right and uh, if you are testing your application you can set dot env dot testing in your application right so if you are performing a database operation so you can set up your database parameter there so it will use the different database rather than this actual database but we will explore that when we will implement that database operations right so first uh, i'm going to write a test but uh, let me check that video size i want to cover this within the few videos okay it's going to fine right first i'm going to start with the feature test right okay uh, what is feature test okay let me check that its size okay i think uh, i need to this one is our uh, this one is a demo where i'm telling you that what is test and so on so i can cover the feature test and uh, unit test in the next video but don't worry stay it here okay first i'm going to start with the um, feature test if you want to create a feature test you need to run this command php artisan make test and then you need to specify the test name so let's say i want to test my uh, home page that if my home page exists home page url exists so i'm going to say that home page test something like this okay hit enter so it will create this test in the test slash feature directory because i have created a feature test okay home page test so here you can see this it's uh, contain the um, function but i have removed this function i'll write myself okay and i'm going to now here write my function to test that to uh, my home page is uh, working or not basically i want to test my slash route so how you can do this so you will write this uh, this and then you will call a get method and i'm going to send the request on the slash route and here i'm going to check that i'm going to basically save this into the variable i'm going to say that response is this one and now i want to check that is this response is successful or not so let's say response and here i want to say assert status okay what's the status it's returning so by default when we load our web page and if it's successful it's returned 200 response right so okay what's the error uh, oh my god i forgot to add a function so first you need to write a function so public oops public function okay and then name of function test and this test will be skipped when it's called the test name so test home page is loading right something like this and then paste that logic here right i want to test it here okay now it's good and if i go here and run my test so now you can see this it's output here you can see this one test is passed right but if i say that do not get the 200 response get the 201 which is used for creating the something so it's saying it's failed because here you can see its reason failed asserting 200 is identical to 201 right we are getting 20 or 200 but it's uh, expecting the 201 so now i have corrected that so it's, it will work and uh, let's say i want to check that if something uh, some text exists on my home page this one is my home page application and i want to test that is laravel news is exist on this home page so how i can test this so here i'm going to write another function and make sure to write the function name in the descriptive way why because when laravel is calling so here it's defining its name home page is loading after the test right so here this test will be readable so at that time you have only one test 
but when you have multiple tests it will be harder for you to detect that uh, what's the issue is right so that's why i make it descriptive so let's say you have 100 tasks so it's easily uh, you will able to read that what's the test and what's the issue okay so here i'm going to say that test home page contains uh, laravel text something like this okay and then here i'm going to send the request i'm going to send the request on the home page using get method okay it will load the slash route and then here i want to check that to uh, assert c and uh, what i want to see i want to check that is it contain the laravel or laravel news so just go here and run this test again so it will execute two tests and you can yes you can see this it's now passed right but if i go here and did a spelling mistake so it will throw the exception that second so is failed it's basically overall reading all the page and finding that is it exist or here or not right so at that time it doesn't exist so that's why it's saying that here failed asserting that uh, not this one your home page is loading and it's making sure that uh, one is failed okay 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 this one home page contain laravel test it's failing so home page contain laravel text and it's finding that there is no result there so that's why it's failed and if i run it again now it will be paused okay perfect so this one is a simple example where we learned that how we can use this test but let's say now you want to interact with the database operations right you want to save a user in the database so how you can write that kind of test now i'm going to cover the bit advanced of so public function and then here i'm going to say that test to user is saved in database right something like this okay and uh, now i want to say that uh, hey uh, test that first i'm going to create a user here user create and then i'm going to say that to uh, user name right let's say diet niazi and then i'm going to say it's email right and email would be hadi niazi at 801 at gmail.com right and then the password this one so i'm going to you can use the uh, uh, b crypt okay b crypt i can use hash too because in the latest version laravel is using hash but i need to add its namespace at the top so that's why i'm skipping this out and using this bcrypt otherwise use the hash because it's a latest one okay i have added its namespace at the top and after creating the user i want to save this into the variable and here i'll make sure that is it to successfully created a user so i want to say that say that this assert equals right so equal to what uh, or i can say assert not null this user object is not null so it's mean that it's saved or i can apply another operation on it assert equals something like this equals and here i can say that name adayat niazi and i can here turn user uh, user name something like this okay perfect now let's run this test again and at that time it will save this user in our database and i have connected this database laravel testing app right so it will use this actual testing uh, actual database because i haven't configured the uh, configured the database in the memory or in the testing so i'll also tell that how to do that i write this php artisan test and saying three uh, test or post user is saved and if i go ahead and get refresh so you can see this it's now this user is saved in the database successfully right i'm going to change it so email 
because uh, email is unique and it will throw an exception if you, I'll run this again. If I run this task again, so it will save this into the database. Let's get refresh and yes, you can see this, it's saved this user, right? So it means that our tests are successfully running and we are able to see that our this logic is working fine. But to in when you are implementing these tests, you don't want to interact with your actual database. You want to create a dummy database, right? So how you can do that, right? So um, there are two ways to do that. Here you can create .env.testing file and then write your logic or you can go here uh, i'll explain this in a minute after that okay here just go here and create a new file which is something oh i can create this out okay i think here i need to write this no i'm not able to write this out let me go to the project root directory and here i'm going to create a new file which is uh, something dot env dot testing yes and uh, just go here and copy that env details and paste it here and set up your database so let's say i want to i want to set up my database connection here laravel testing app i'm going to say that to test okay I'm, I have added to uh, another database and I'm going to add this out here okay just for testing purposes okay I have added this uh, uh, test right test database and now I'm going to basically now testing will use this database rather than the actual database if I go here and run this out it says one test is failed because our database table don't have any table base table or view not found okay first we need to migrate that data our to create our table which we already on migrate okay it's saying that nothing to migrate okay i understood that why it's saying that out if you want to run your test you need to go to your test and here it's using the uh, added the refresh database so you need to add this trait here to run this to tell the laravel that we are using the test in the test uh, we are doing these tests for the testing purposes right basically we are telling the laravel do not use the actual or dummy database right if it will, it will first create the record in this database and then after if the record is completed it will delete that records here if i go here and let's get refresh you can see this we have tables and if i go here so there is no table, uh, no record here. Why? Because it's creating a user in the database here, right? And then it's uh, basically uh, refreshing the database again, right? That's the way how this uh, this one works. And if I go here and delete this so env.testing file, I want to make sure that what I'm saying is correct or not. So here, if I move on to the laravel testing app which is our actual database so you can see this there are two types of record and if i'll save this out now it will um, store the third record right but if you will use this refresh database it will now first enter the third record and then it will clear all of the records i, I run this again it will now will be successful and yes successful if i give it a refresh yes you can see this there is no user here but if i go here and commit this out i'll run this out so it will run and save this user and it will remain here right so it means that when it's on the testing mode it's first to saving the record in the database and then removing it from there so but still you don't need to perform this action on your original database otherwise it will empty your database and we learned that we added the .env.testing file but there is another way to do that too so here in your php.um unit.xml there are two variables you need to uncomment them so it will use the database in the memory rather than our actual database and here for this we need to also run uh, this refresh database so then this will work 
so uh, let's say we have a home page test so here we need to run this out so then this will work okay run this out and you can see these three tests are passed so in this way you can execute your uh, execute your feature test and save records in your database so this one is the overall overview how you can save your records in the database and now i want to teach you this one we have covered that what is testing how many types of tests and we have written the feature test where we can test multiple items and now i want to tell you that how to create the unit test and uh, then how to implement that out okay so basically if you want to create the unit te test the command is same php artisan make test but here you need to specify let's say i want to create a calculator test calculator okay and then calculator and i want to basically create a calculator test and then here you need to specify it unit right so then it will create the unit tests so at that time there is nothing in the unit and if i hit enter so it will create this test and yes it's created just click on that and you can see this it's same as the previous one right and here i'll create another class and uh, then i'll use that uh, methods in here right so first i'm going to create a class inside this app directory and uh, if you are new on the laravel 11 now you can you have a command to make the class right i'm going to create a class make calculator calculator so this one would be the class so before this i have created the test not the class right so it's created in the calculator.php which namespace is set and this class which is the constructor is there i'll not use this constructor so i'm removing this out a pretty basic class where i'm going to add the two function so first function would be what are the calculator functionalities addition subtraction multiplication and so on so i'm going to first add the add function function add which will accept the a parameter and then b right i want to accept the two parameters and i want to do their sum right and then i can save them into the variable but i'm uh, directly returning this out so it will return their sum right and then similarly i'm going to create the another function public function uh, subtract and then i'm going to accept the same parameter or i can pass a different it uh, doesn't matter so here i'm going to return the same x minus y okay uh, now subtract okay fine now i have created this class and i'll call this class here to test this that our methods are working or not so i'm going to write a method public function uh, test to the uh, add method something like this right and here i'm going to uh, create the object of my class uh, calculator okay and it's accept the two parameters right so i'll pause this when i'll call its function basically the class is not accepting the two functions our functions are accepting the two parameter so i'm going to save this into the variable uh, calculator equal cal new calculator right so now we have a class object and let me add its namespace at the top so use app slash its namespace and now it's fine and i'm going to call the add method of this calculator class so you know that we have created this add method and subtract method so i'm going to call this on this object so add and then i'm going to pass the two parameters so first i'm going to pass five and then second parameter would be three so it will basically do the sum right and i'm going to save them into the variable of result so result will contain what's it's returning five and three it will return the eight right and here in the test i want to make sure that what would be the output so here i'm going to say that this assert equals right and equals to what i want to say that it's it should be equal to eight 
and what it should be equal to it result should be equal to eight right so it will sum of them and then if this is equal it will return that test test is passed so now run this test again enter it will return the four tests are passed and yes four tests are passed so it means that it's returning the expected results and if i say that it's a nine which is incorrect so this test will be failed and uh, yes you can see this now it's failed and you can see its reason that uh, asserting that uh, eight matches but expected nine uh, it means that it's returning the eight result but you are expecting the nine which is incorrect right so in this way we can test our application that our let's say we have written uh, add logic to is that add logic is properly working or not so this is the way why we write the test okay perfect similarly if we want to test the another subtraction so we can do this public function test the subtract subtract method something like this okay and then similarly we need the calculator object right instantiation calculator and then here i'll call this subtract subtract and then i'm going to pass 10 and then second would be 5 right so what it will return it will return the 5 so i'm going to store this into the variable of result and then here i'm going to do the assert this assert equals right and i'm going to say that it would be the 5 is this result right and uh, this will return the 5 okay and if i go here and run this out and uh, it will return how many tests are passed it will return five tests are passed right okay five tests are passed and six assertions but if you don't want to execute all of the tasks and you want to run this only this calculator test rather than the other test so how you can do this so command would be same php artisan test and then you can call the filter method and here you can pass your test name so our test name is calculator this one test hit enter and you can see this two tests are passed this one and this one so it's uh, add method and subtract methods are executed so in this way you can test your methods you can uh, debug your uh debug your different methods here a small chunks of code to test your application is returning the expected results so this is the way why testing is useful and hope it's clear for you to test to your laravel application so let me know if you have any confusion so you can come ask this in the comments box and also don't forget to share your feedback about this course I'm shooting these premium courses free of cost to uh, to serve those who don't afford the paid courses right so share your feedback that uh, is that course is valuable for you and uh, what kind of course you are looking for in the future thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next series bye bye